software and related services. Mars is our largest task force, uh, I think by far. Uh, it is a what we call a parent task force in many ways to several working groups. It also acts as a clearinghouse and coordination point for several of the other task forces and special interest groups. Uh, it's it, it's a very, very uh, diverse crowd in this particular task force. Um, I just do want to highlight a couple of things here. As you can see, there's a, a massive amount of work that they do at every every meeting. This is just a subset of what was presented at the Friday plenary, simply because this is what would fit on a single slide. But uh, I'd like to reduce it down a little bit more and highlight just a couple of items. The DDS, or Data Distribution Services, uh, Diana mentioned that the DDS Foundation is one of our communities within our ecosystem. It's formed around the data distribution services ecosystem of specifications. Uh, they continue to crank out updates and new pieces of the puzzle for dealing with uh, uh, distribution of data in a coherent, a consistent, and a semantically uh, comprehensive way. So this is this is again a, a an exciting group to watch. Um, IDL four, the interface definition language I mentioned earlier, that was uh, in conjunction with Corva, which is now thirty years old this year. This e these are updates to uh, uh, newer languages such as Python. So there's an IDL four to Python mapping. C plus plus is getting a, a an update as well. Um, finally, on the right hand side, I just want to mention two newer initiatives. We have the Open Civic Architecture Framework, which has uh, spawned off a new special interest group, which will be the thing that we, we finish up the day with. Uh, but uh, Mars is working closely with the OCAF folks to bring that to fruition. Also, uh, middleware blockchain is, of course, a, a big topic in how to connect systems together, uh, sitting in the middle of various systems and integrating uh, uh, validation and verification systems. So they tend to do a lot with the blockchain special interest group as well.